Paul, Jess, I've got the list right here. It's pretty alarming because it shows the majority of them are not spending 60% of its budget on what's called school expenditures. But keep in mind, this is a national study and this is much different than what the state offers. Because I think we can do better as Oklahomans. It's Governor so Mary Fallon's message this week as one of her executive orders calls for the state superintendent to make the governor a list of every public school that spends less than 60 percent of its budget on instructional expenditures. A preliminary national report given to us from the governor's office shows only 45 districts in the state fall above the 60 percent threshold. That means more than 460 other districts fall under the governor's guidelines. It includes these districts in the metro. When I asked which school districts could be consolidated or annexed, this is what the governor said. A look at schools that were failing and to look at ways that they might have shared administrative costs to take the failing schools and put them in with the better schools. We asked what the criteria will be, and the governor's office said the State Board of Education and the state superintendent will have to make those recommendations. The other big question here is what is the clear definition of school expenditures? You may have a different answer depending on what superintendent you talk to, but the big sticking point in the executive order is the amount they're spending on administrative costs. In the national numbers, they are much higher than what the state offers, and that latest data from the state only goes back from the 2015 and 2016 school year. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Brett Boganski, KOCO 5 News.